Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use type of to check the type of a variable. You can use type of to check the data to check the data structure or type of a variable. This is useful in debugging when working with multiple data types. If you think you're adding two numbers but one is actually a string, the result can be unexpected. Type errors can lurk in calculations or function calls. Be careful, <clears throat> especially when you're accessing and working with external data in the form of J JSON. JavaScript object notation, JSON object. Uh, here are some examples of type of. So here we've got type of and then a, they add a space and then a empty string and you get a string as an output. Here type of a number you get a number and, and then with both of a, both an array and an object you get the type of which of object because an array is simply an enumerated object. JavaScript recognizes six primitive immutable data types boolean, null, undefined, number, string, and symbol. Uh, new with ES6, and one type of mutable item, which is called an object. Note that JavaScript arrays are technically a type of object. Uh, add two console log statements to check the type of, of each of the two variables, 7 and 3. So what do you think is going to be here? This is, the num this is the variable 7 is equal to the integer of 7, the number of 7. And then uh, the variable 3 is equal to the string of 3. Console.log 7 and 3 it gets seven and three. That's just because JavaScript um, converts those types for you, right? But here what we want to do is go console.log type of and then seven. And underneath here we should get number, right? And then console.log type of uh, three. We get string because three is a string type and seven is that. And you could do like, if you wanted to go check out the example and do it with an object. You can see that that's an object. Um, what about null? <clears throat> null is also an object. This is kind of interesting. There's a JavaScript tutorial called uh, WAT, W-A-T, JavaScript. If you Google that, that'll give you an idea for some of the funny things that even pr expert programmers uh, get kind of confused about when they're doing this. And so, yeah, um, that's basically what they want you to do here. You run the test and I'm sure they'll pass. Cool. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.